How did we do that? Oh, it's level four and none of this is real. It's oh. all digital. Yeah, we can't afford balloons. Here at Retro Replay, we're in the basement, as always. Uh, Drew is with me. Hello. Um, uh, yes, the famous Drew Sphine J. Drew. The famous. The famous. Infamous. Really. How are you, pal? Um, are, you, are you excited? I, I, I can't wait. I'm so excited. Uh, I mean, this is this is big. It's level four. It's insane. Four is my lucky number. F four years. I, who would have thought we'd be doing this for four years? I didn't think Not me. <laughs> <laughs> Not me. Mm. <laughs> Shit, I was I was supposed to be collecting Oscars by now. Yeah, <laughs> hasn't yeah. happened. Uh, except you know, Oscar the Grouch little toys. Yeah, that I get here and there. Who is Grouchy. kicking my can? Oh, hi, Grouchy. Still one of the worst characters in Sesame Street history. That's for another time. Level four. Uh, this is exciting. Uh, it is. We're back, and we're back. Uh, replayers, um, uh, thank you for. Uh, uh, you know, being here, uh, I mean, well, we, they our, we go off on our hiatus, hiatus and, yeah, yeah, and we, you figure most people go, ah, they're gone, and they just, no, you guys are, you guys have been anticipating this, and we're, I mean, you know, and what do you get? You get digital confetti. Yeah, that's how we roll. We come Something, out big. And some things don't we, change. We, we over-promise and under-deliver. Over-promising and under-delivering under is, uh, <laughs> is something that my grandfather <laughs> forged in me and said, you know... When you don't give people reason to care, they never will. Yeah. <laughs> and I think it takes a lot of pressure off. It's how I live my life with no stress. My shoulders, mm. relaxed. Yeah. Um, we we have we have a great new slate of guests. We got uh, some cool games that uh, yeah. I'm going to be introduced to. Um, uh, you know, and I mean that's you know, the show, right? And, and, well, that's been the show, but. Yeah. I just feel like we need to evolve. We need a little bit of an evolution. And over the break, we talked about this stuff and we teased a little bit of it in the end of season three when truthfully, we had no idea what we were talking about. Yeah. Um, That's about, but, sounds about right. Yeah. But now we've actually had some time, you know, recharge the, the batteries and uh, really sit down and, and do a little brainstorming. And um, I, I, I got some ideas. Do you? I have some ideas. You do? I want to okay. pitch. I want to pitch some ideas. Well, I pitch first because I'm, I'm Nolan. Yeah. And I'm sitting here on the show. That's I have true. the mug. You, <laughs> you, <laughs> the you mug. need to put some goddamn clothes on. Uh, I don't know. I don't know I why thought, season four started out with nudity uh, over there. But, well, I, I but cover did, that did, up. Did, why does your pubic hair glisten? <laughs> what is that? Why is it all wet? So why is it wet? Man. So it's disgusting. Glow. No, you know what? Um, you know, one thing that I missed in, uh, in 2020 because of the pandemic, going to the movies and and uh, actually sitting in a theater and getting your popcorn or, or or your your you know bag of rusty nails, whatever your snack of choice is. Um, but the idea that you know movies are such a great experience. Uh, but the one thing that hasn't changed is movie trailers. I love a good movie trailer, and I thought. What if we got the gang together? We got the retro replay gang, because uh, I love when we do our Zoom chats. But, you know, we get PJ, you, me, uh, Paul, Stephanie, Pagan. We, we just, and we play a trailer that hopefully maybe none of us have seen. So there's no, and just, just reactions and just have a little segment. Ah, I don't know how to, you know what? I can't explain it. It would look something like this. In a time where the outside got cancelled, six people come together in what critics could someday call the best show about trailers on the internet. Starring the handsome and talented Nolan North, PJ Big Boss Harzma, Stephanie The Judge, Paul Mike Check Both, Irish, and the other guy, the hairy one. These self-proclaimed experts battle an evil that cannot be defeated. Imposter syndrome, as they look inward to find that the only thing that can save the world from boredom is... An awesome show talking about trailers. Trailer Talk, coming soon to YouTubes everywhere. And only on Retro Replay. Huh? Wow. Right? Uh, you know, that's a little snippet of what we're talking about. 
Um, I love we, this. Idea. We end up talking about movie trailers we anyway, and, yeah. and what's coming out. Well, I mean, what if we talk about game trailers? We could talk about game trailers. Any kind of trailers. We can talk about semi truck trailers. We can talk you know, about that one. You know, it's like, well, this one came from that one right there. That's a that's a Springfield, Missouri. Oh, wow. Uh, that's a tractor trailer that came down there. A uh, moving trailers. We can talk about moving trailers. You know what they do with those though? Ultra moving wide, trailers. Double wide. They actually load your stuff on. Yeah. And then take a picture of the license plate because then they go through all your shit, move it to another truck, and bring it down there. And they steal stuff. Don't wow. do that. Do the pods. Just a little tidbit Dude, from your Uncle Noli. The pods. Put your pods. You lock it, you unlock it. Nobody touches your shit. Boom. I like it. Pods. Pods. All right? I may or may not have stock in pods. Doesn't matter. Okay, I'll get it. Um, Uncle Noli will be back, uh, albeit Uncle Noli. a little bit of a reduced role. Um, yeah. You know, I just, it, 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 it's like a, Uncle Noli is like a really good sketch in Saturday Night Live that you wanted to see. You thought you wanted it every week, but when you start getting it every week, eh. Uncle Noli, you're like, Uncle Noli, go away. And just then, for a little but bit. But I want you back. Yeah, but the more you tell Uncle Noli to go away, the more he's just going to like, you yeah. know, sleep in a chair by your bed. Right. You don't want that. So we're still going to, he's going to get peppered. He's like a good, he's like seasoning. He's going to get peppered. You, yeah. He's still around, still send your questions in. And we'll still get to some of those. Yeah. But, uh, I, I you know, just maybe, the, the pepper. So you're going to get some of the old, some of the new. Yeah. We'll bring, um, maybe we bring Uncle Noli into, to like, uh, like Retro Replay. Like, like it used to be. Yeah, exactly. You know? Exactly. Maybe it just shows up on the Thursday show. Yeah. You know? Uh, you have ideas? What, 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 have you brainstormed over the, the break, Drew? Uh, Tell you me know, what you've I, come up with. I, here's what I do. I, I, I sit on the toilet and I think. I don't want to hear about this. Um. This is going awful. And I really, it's my thinking time. It's my thinking pose. You know, I do the, the hand, the, the, the elbow on the knee, hand on the chin. and That helps you? I bet you're one of those guys who bought that little footstool to help you push harder. <laughs> the, the, what is it? The potty, squatty potty? The squatty yeah. potty. People like sitting there like, it comes out so much easier. <laughs> You know, I don't need that because all my stool is loose. It just, I like just it that slides way. out. It, there's no, like, you don't even have to You don't to need thrive. a squatty potty if you drink Guinness. That's Boom. <laughs> Go ahead. But What's you need, your idea? You need a diaper. Um, <laughs> it's already started. I love that this is already started. Well, what, what, what? Come on, hit me with an idea. Man, what, what do you well, like? Well, so here's my, here's my idea. And, okay. And I'm not one to inflate the ego of... Nolan North, but I, I I love our our chats, and I think the topics and tangents topics became and tangents, a big hit. Paul yeah. Both is a huge fan. <laughs> yeah, he's our number number one fan. He's actually <laughs> Paul has his own tier for yeah. topics and tangents. <laughs> yeah. He pays a premium. Yeah, get some live, uh, unedited, raw, and 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 literally, we want to bring you kind of like a topic and tangents live, unedited. Uh, 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 raw, as it were, and I thought, what if we had like the Nolan North show, like let you loose a bit, you know, like you know, looser than than retro replay. Yeah, what, you mean like, oh, you mean like like just one on one kind of straightforward podcast kind of situation. Yeah, like you're in you're in our ears, podcast first. Uh, we just get to what if what if you and I and and we could bring on guests and we just we talk about like topical things. Like so so every just week. rather than. So you're talking about possibly live sometimes, or possibly just putting out like a like like what Joe Rogan does, that kind of thing. Yeah. Like, but just okay. What would that look like? Well, we got to work on that. Yeah, we'll work on it. That that does not look that appealing. I think I think it's more appealing. When you listen to it, versus yeah, but that that was just watching. That looked boring. Yeah, we'll have to we have to let's put some color on that one. Let's splash some paint on that. We'll figure that one out. Yeah, I like that. Okay, I like that. Okay, I have another uh, little little uh, little idea okay. that I was I've been toying with. Mm. Um, as most people know, uh, one of my biggest roles was uh, Nathan Drake, Uncharted, right? And um, you know, they're, now they're making a movie with Tom Holland, which is going to be fantastic. They have all kinds of stuff. Uh, you know, the, the games are still blowing up. Um, people will go back and play them. And it's a big part of my life. And one thing that I always used to kind of joke about was, well, he's always on these big adventures. 
And I used to say, you never see, you never see him stop to pee. You never see, you know, just uh, him eating a sandwich. Just for... so what? What does he do between the adventures? You know, like you know, some of the life's you know simple mundane tasks. Mm. And I, I always wondered what that would look like, and yeah. thought it might kind of look like this. See, <laughs> right? He, he's got to do his laundry, right? So no you know, way. I mean, and I just, it just, it, I, and I just think there's so many things that happen in life that, um, you know, that we never get to see, and I yeah. just think little snippets and tidbits <laughs> of, uh, you know, inside his 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 real life. I love this. You know, I love uh, this. I think uh, I think people might really like that, and um, you know, and uh, it might it might. Make people want to click and subscribe at the bottom if you want to like us. We appreciate your support. Anyway, I just think, uh, oh my given God. given our re our replayers have been great to us, let's give them you know reason to keep coming back and doing something a little you know something a little different. And you don't know when it's going to show up, but um, I, yeah. I I think they, I think this got some possibilities. I think I love that, and I love you know because I think you know the retro replay show right mm -hmm. we do every Thursdays at four right. p.m. p.m. Pacific time. Don't miss it, uh, and the <laughs> that's my that's my uh, four p.m. Pacific Standard uh, Time. Yeah, that's when the show comes out, and you should you should come watch it live with us because yes, you should. We join in the chat, and it's a good time. And uh, you know, we do the we we have like we've we've created these. What's fun is the shows evolved, and I love mm -hmm. that. And it's we've created like these little segments, and I think it's kind of fun to be able to like swap out things. And I love that Drake between the uh, between the adventures right. could be a segment one week, and I love that. You know, uh, we could do Uncle Noli could be a segment one week, and then mm -hmm. you know we have we're, we're going to continue to do play games, retro games that we love. Yeah, like. we got, and retro games that that I've never been exposed to. Yeah. Maybe some current games too. I I would really like to get back this season, uh, get back in the VR. I, I want to you know do some of that stuff. Maybe you know um, you know maybe play the same game two weeks in a row. If I if I like like it, I might. Just maybe I maybe I practice, and then <laughs> come back and see if I've gotten better, yeah, yeah. or worse. Hmm? Um, yeah, I kind of like the idea. If we're, when we're talking on the topic of gaming, maybe we get some uh, like a multiplayer game going with some of you guys, uh, where I play live with you, and we we uh, we stream either right here from from the basement or uh, from anywhere I am in the world, because mm. I move around a lot. Yes. Witness protection, you know. Mm -hmm. A lot of enemies. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's hot. <laughs> <laughs> I have more ideas, but I, I kind of want to... I, I, I need them to stew for a minute. Like, I need to think about them a little bit more, but... They have to stew in Drew's soup? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I love soup. <sighs> It's so weird. Yeah, I know. But I love soup, and he thinks on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> and he needs to stew. It's all. It's, it's all it, soupy. There's it's a all through wet. line there. Now Someone I know why it glistens. Now I know why it's glistening. Yes. But I thought we, you know, in the past few premieres uh, of levels, we've played um, a Don Bluth. Love game. Don Bluth. His great games. animator, right? And I know our audience loves watching the faces you make while trying to figure out which direction on the D-pad to hit. And I thought, we haven't played, the one of Dragon's Lair Trilogy game we haven't played yet is Dragon's Lair 2. I think- Really? I think we should play that today. So we played Dragon's Lair. Yeah. And we did the one with the space guy. Space Ace, yeah. Space Ace. So uh, what do we got? We, Dragon's Lair 2? two. Dragon's Lair Two. It's the sequel to Dragon's Lair, right? But it was no the, shit. But it, but it was the third Dragon's Lair Two. I thought really, it's not an original. 
<laughs> well, in the order that he made them, because he calls it the Dragon's Lair trilogy, which is strange, right? Because Space Ace doesn't have a letter like a, or a number next to it. But he made Dragon's Lair, then he made Space Ace. Wait, 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 wait. Then he made Dragon's Lair 2. So Dragon's Lair 2 came after Space Ace. So the it, Dragon's Lair trilogy is Dragon's Lair, Dragon's Lair 2, and then Space Ace? Yes. That is not a trilogy. It's uh, like, yeah, you have know, you played the Uncharted trilogy? Well, there's Uncharted Drake's Fortune, Uncharted 2, and then there's Mega Speed. <laughs> <laughs> which has nothing to do with the previous two. But it's a trilogy. But, but it's a third-person shooter, and, you know, who knows. Okay. Uh, uh, so I guess uh, this should be the Don Bluth trilogy. It should be. But they, they, they well, you know, Disney. You know, I'm not it's the marketing Disney? guy for these people, who, so I would have helped them out there, but... Um, I have a headache. It, it is the first episode... I already have a headache. You're already confused. I'm already confused. Oh, God. I just, oh, man. you know what? It's just, let's just play it. All right, let's play some game. I'm going to stew on some ideas. Okay, you keep your stew to yourself. <laughs> okay, we're at the Dragon's Lair Trilogy. Here we go, kids. Let's give it a shot. Oh, no, guess what? I can't see which way. I, the camera's right. Oh, she threw a pan at my, she had a pan at my dick. <laughs> I love this. I love this game already. So what's happening here? What's what's funny is this game doesn't give you a lot of context right from the get go, and you you have to like watch it a bunch of times to pick it up. You're doing really well, by the way. But um, Daphne has been kidnapped again, right? And I guess the mother-in-law here. Is... I got eaten by a spider. <laughs> got eaten by a spider. Uh, oh, now I got eaten by a snake. <laughs> the mother-in-law is not happy about the situation. Hold on. So she's chasing. I'm going to borrow the pause sign because. Is that the mother-in-law? I think so. That's terrible. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's chasing you down. It's kind of there's it, there's. By something. the way, if that's the mother-in-law, then then he needs to get so the rid bow of that. On, you see the uh, the bow flash there? No, you, you just missed it. But, uh... Yeah, but I don't have time to do shit. <laughs> oh, that that bitch. I is love angry. how she hits you with the rolling pin. That is so. And like, I turned into. So the arrow's up there, and the bow is to the right. I know, but I, I don't know what to do. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I can't see the bottom arrow because of all the shit that I'm doing. And see, um, the camera is perfectly, that we use here, is perfectly so, in my way. Yeah, so maybe pay attention more to the flashes and less of the arrows. What flashes? So the screen flashes in the direction that you should be going so in. So that's the or one the thing that bugs me. the sword will flash. Me. So you seen the bottom left there it flashed, yeah. and then the door flashed, and then the horse flashed. So already get you gotta get into a little bit of a rhythm here. Yeah, I you think. do. Yeah. Well, it's a little bit of memorization too. Like you do it. Yeah. A couple well, times. you die enough, you that happens. Right. Oh no, the death scenes are some of my favorites. I don't know. But again, I... this is one of those ga those things I remember. I love to watch it so much, but I just I'm just working so hard to to do the right thing. Yeah. I love how she's swinging on the back. snake. That's a that's a euphemism for yeah, something. So, so swinging on a snake. I was just about to say. Just uh, swimming on a snake. I, 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 I love man. these games so much. They're, I know they're simple. There's there's obvious. It's just directional memorization and 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 that's about it. But they're just so visually fun to watch. And I I was. Thinking out loud in my, I was thinking like, why don't they do more of these? Like, I feel like there should be like a new game every year of, of this trilogy. Uh, and I was reading in the notes, uh, and I think we talked about this on the last time we played. I can't get over how how hard this can be sometimes when yeah. you just when you just try to get things. You know. Yeah, the timing has to be almost perfect. But uh, apparently Netflix has been trying to secure the rights to make a live-action movie based on Dragon Slayer game. Well, I, it's and amazing that Don Blue that they don't they wouldn't be have something like this already. I know. Yeah. Well, you apparently I mean? he, he he did a Kickstarter or an Indiegogo as well. Um, was it last year or two years ago? Um, and he raised almost a half a million dollars to to create like a like a pitch pilot kind of. Um, okay. So I, I don't know. I don't. I, and that's the last we've heard of it. We haven't really heard or seen much since. But uh, I think it's a great idea. I'd love. To, I'd love to see this world blown out more. Uh, this type of like animation. Well, you have a you have a, a, a great character, you know, uh, that you're, you're you're trying to 
a, a relatable character. Yeah, Dirk, okay. Dirk the Daring. Dirk the Daring, yeah. and, and somebody you're rooting for. Right. Bit of, a, bit of a doofus, but somehow manages to somehow save the day, you know? He's not saving the day right now because well, I, I, I'm controlling him. So this, uh, so what's crazy about this, obviously called Time Warp. So spoiler, mm -hmm. no spoilers here, but that's the time machine that ends up taking you through these crazy uh, new periods that you get to travel through. Uh, and it kind of makes the game even more visually, uh, not only just crazy, but uh, entertaining. It's, it's really cool. Oh, you were so close. I was so close. You were so close. Like that one, you like, oh good, it put you here. That's good. I was doing pretty well, and then it's just like, it's hard to, Yeah. you gotta, oh, see, I- So, so I, what's great about this first level that you play, it's a callback to the first game, right? When, cause you, this is how you beat the first game by killing the snake and saving- Was it a the, snake? Or it was a dragon, but the, there was a snake. I believe there was a snake in the first game. I might be mistaken. But, uh, you know, this is the treasure room that you fought the dragon. Uh, so you kind of come back here and you discover this time machine. <laughs> I got through it. You did it. There's no time to... I don't give you any time no. to... No, yeah, there's no... To like, rest. No, yeah, you just keep going. Can you imagine the quarters that you would dump into this game trying to beat this. I mean... Oh, you, you go broke. Yeah. I mean, props to anybody back in the day that had the the ability to kind of just like put a couple bucks in here and beat this game. I don't know how you would do it. Like, you would just have to have it so memorized. I suppose you, you would, but it's like... Yeah. I mean, I'm trying to... Prob sad part is like I always say about these Don Bluth games, I don't have... I can't watch. I'm so intensely, <laughs> intensely focused on these, these directional arrows. Yeah. You're doing good though. Well, I'm. I'm. It's just. You just gotta. It's like. It's like. Play, remember that? Oh, oh, I just fell in the acid. <laughs> oh, the game over. Shit. I just want to see if I can get through one level. It's like sea monsters and everything. I know, it looks like it Dude, must you be... did it. Did I? You did it, yeah, you're past. That was the level. Thank God. Because you just <laughs> Oh, and it just goes right away? Yeah, yeah, right away. Quick boy, through the gloves. Quick boy, through the... What? A... Where so did this he has a bit of... Uh, Alice... Is that Alice, Alice in Wonderland? Wonderland? Yeah. No, thank you. If you stay long enough, we might have a battle. Oh my gosh. I, 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 you know what, this, I feel like I should be locked in a room alone to do this. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, totally. You just feel like it, and, and, and you're just kind of looking at the... It's, you could, uh, you could watch this, you could watch this a thousand times, and, and you'd still find something new. There's so much happening. It's insane. It's just, but the funny thing is it just becomes reaction. Yeah. Like, there's the cat, like, I didn't, like, this is trippy right here. This is like, I need... I'm, you know what? I'm, I'm actually seeing it in my peripheral, and I don't like it. Yeah, it's freaking me out. <laughs> nobody, ain't nobody got time it really for that. Really channeled like what Alice in the Wonderland was uh, was about. You know, this kind of. Hmm. Ah. Ah. My God, I can't crazy. see. Like you're surfing on the cards. Yeah, I wish I could see it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. No, I mean, you, I'm, I'm glad you guys are enjoying it and everybody else. But I, I literally am so intent on keeping this. Back where you I did it to be. No, now I'm into something else. Yeah, I can't I stop. There's yeah. no stopping. I know, it doesn't, you're in, I don't know, I guess what would you call this, heaven? I don't know. Or chair, those, those are, uh. Okay, you know what? No, just jump off and die. <laughs> just Dude. jump off and die? Oh my God, okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, let's just, let's just put this down for a second and have a drink. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh my goodness. Wow. I mean. You're doing good though. And you know what it gave me time to do? What's that? Think about a new show. You got another idea? I got another idea. Oh, this is a brain. This welcome to level four, the brainstorm show. The brainstorm. What show. hit me? What do you got? New another idea? Yeah. Well, you, this idea came up because you were talking. Was it with Fred? Mm -hmm. And you guys used to like hang out and and watch old episodes of what was it? Um, Oh, we'd see Yo MTV Cribs yeah, or, or MTV uh, Cribs. Cheers or whatever. Yeah. We would we would we would just talk over like mute it and we would you would do we'd make up our own make lines. Make up your own line. I I, I want to see that. Okay, and I need I need that to happen again, 
and I want I want us to do like little little a little mini series that maybe we put into the show every now and then of you guys dubbing over like old old TV Ooh, shows. I like or this. You got a title? You got a title for me? Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking dubious dubs. Ooh, dubious dubs coming to retro replay this yeah. season. Yeah, I like it. What if it? What, I like what, it. What can be, can we would, do like commercials? Yeah. What would was it, would that be your kind of first? Oh, uh, I've seen erectile dysfunction uh, <laughs> things that, you know, like the first, like the, the two people in the tubs holding hands, like, why don't you get over in this water? <laughs> it's gonna, we're going to make this get sudsy. I don't know. It looks <laughs> weird shit that I come up in my head. Yeah. So like just, or maybe I can just pick some stuff and off the fly. We yeah. just do it. Well, I, I think, I think we got to show them a little bit example of what that might look like. Hmm. So kind of like this. <laughs> I'm going to spread my arms like this seven times in a 30-second commercial. Come, watch. Here's is number two. And three right there. You're watching it. There's four. And five. I went wider. Five times. You watched it. Now, there's six. Would you like to see seven? Well, that doesn't count. That doesn't count either. There's seven. Hey. Oh, eight. I was wrong. You should spread your arms. Yeah, that's a good like idea. That. I like that. That's a good idea. <laughs> Dude, All right. The internet can't handle it. I think. All right. That's just a little bit. We're going to do the. Okay, I get uh, yeah, it. Yeah. I get it. Wow. Well, this is the. You know what the last show should be? Uh, lawyer up. <laughs> Because all this shit, we're gonna get sued <laughs> yeah. uh, if, if anybody yeah. cares enough. I mean, we'll probably be wow. on. We'll probably be on YouTube for about three more weeks, and then we'll just have to go behind like some <laughs> like dark, dark web paywall. <laughs> to see I the like rest it of though. Stuff. I like it. I think oh, that's no. uh, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, I like. Yeah, that could be fun. Yeah, I've been thinking about that ever since you had that convo. Oh, I like that. I like so, okay, okay. So dubious dubs. Okay, so we got that. Uh, and hey. Don't forget, it's it's not all all on our shoulders. Uh, we got a little support from Down and uh, with Get Good, where Get Good's going to be back with uh, Todd uh, Lasance and Liam McIntyre, right? Yeah, I love this show. I they're mean, stream, they're, and and this year, uh, I want to get in there and stream with them a couple of games. Absolutely, I want to I want to you know jump in on the, the Zoomers and the the internets and the <laughs> streaming services <laughs> services. Um, you know what? You, but I don't know what they have planned. Um, hmm. I, you know what? Why don't we bring him in? Let's get him on the line. All the way from down under the other side of the planet uh, where the toilet water swirls the other direction, it's the Get Good Guys, Thomas Ants, Liam McIntyre. Guys, what's Woo. happening? We're, we're back. We're here at level four, season four uh, of Retro <laughs> Replay, and... Uh, we're just telling everybody all the the exciting stuff that uh, we have coming, and one of those is is get good. Um, what, what 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 do you got planned for twenty twenty one? It would be good day, mate. Get yeah, out, mate. Was... <laughs> yes, we need the good day. Um, yeah, no, it seems appropriate. It seems appropriate. Look at Tan yeah. Todd. He's so he's so gorgeous. Um, I, I swear it's the ring light, bro. I definitely don't look this tan in real life. No, I but feel I like do you live in Australia, here. mate. Where the yeah, sun always ripper. shines. Yeah, it chucks Rocky. it down. Okay, anyway. More Aussie words uh, to come enough of that. You'll, you'll get more yeah, of that on the show. You'll get all strength, that. Some of, some of the stuff you get in the show is Aussie slang. <laughs> I, I'm Beth into that. Duck. Um, yeah, are you? Yeah, Aussie slang and, and fantastic hat. I don't know what you're wearing there, but it's well, beautiful. It's 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 Tarje. <laughs> um, Tarje, it's a special yes. number from Tarje. Do they have hats? Um, <laughs> Just, I don't even know. Like, I don't, I I, do who now. knows where this came from? I just pick it up off my table every day and just don't ask questions. That's what I do. Liam has a new baby. <laughs> you can tell. Can you? Is it the <laughs> lack of sleep and the vague yeah. lack of awareness of what's happening? Pretty much, yes. First thing I would like to announce is we're going to get together yes. some of the members from Spartacus and we're going <laughs> to join together like this that looks ins that's inside that's around, gross. around each other. And we're oh. going to have... A little Q and A session, and we're going to have a little gaming session. So we've, we've mm. reached out to a few of the uh, Spartacus peeps, um, and we're going to get together. and We're going to have a little game. And yeah, Q &A and that's session. just going to be a little taste of things that will come through the year. So we've got a we got a whole plan. We're going to be doing some play playthroughs. I want to get some gears five, gears four played through with some of the guys in the show. We're going to do a little bit of that. 
Yes. Um, and there's some, some other people that we want to want to bring in and have some playthroughs. Yeah, uh, I, was thinking, one, guess. I was thinking maybe yeah, on, we could go. do something together. Maybe um, like a, oh, I know it's old school, but maybe an unchar- uncharted multiplayer. Um, oh, now you're talking my language, and, and we could we could we could do that. We could you know just do a, a couple yes. of streams and and kind of get involved, have some oh. fun with that. Go old school. I'll work on my Sully you. impression. It's going to be amazing. Uh, I like hey, to kill right. children. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's going in. I keep them in my basement. Um, <laughs> Sully is a terrifying person. He, um, but it could not be the nicer man. But I just we we created this surprise. whole. We've created this whole. Dark Sully. Dark yeah, Sully, know, and it just makes me. Yeah, dark, it's it's actually not Dark Sully, Sully. It's Dark Richard. <laughs> Oh, you just. You I choose, live in Maine. Trans- it's cold and it keeps things fresh. Yeah, but I do. Yeah, I think there's great opportunity to 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 get it. I'm I'm I'm. I was I was I I, I realized that my my boys are going off to school. COVID's going to end, oh. and they're going to leave. And I'm like, wow. Uh, I don't know, you know, the, what's the best way to you know, still stay in touch and everything. And I realized I got to get better at gaming. So I might need some tips mm. and some pointers, but I thought, yeah. you know, That's what I, we do. I, I thought the Uncharted thing would could be a good start. Maybe Call, call of Duty, some of these other ones uh, that I, I know they play, Modern Warfare, uh, Gears, like you were saying. And yeah. I, I would like to put myself on the list as maybe just a fanboy of Spartacus because I used to watch that show oh. in a loincloth when my wife went to bed. I would literally come, I, I just would splatter ketchup on my my body and a loincloth and be like, right. get it. him. But I've I've met a bunch of uh, the, the Spartacus um, family. And um, so, so, I, I, so yeah. I'm a yeah, big fan. What else? What else has Get Good got coming? Special yes. guests too. Correct. We're going to have like some big time gamers come through. That Liam's mm. all rubbed shoulders with because he's super famous in the gaming world. <laughs> so we're going to call on them. We're going to call on yeah. them. Have a little uh, playthroughs as well. It's some variety game days with some streamers and also a couple of random special guests that you wouldn't think were um, little secret. Like we named Mitch just down the road. He's going to turn up. Um, I like Drew that. Yeah, is no. going to come back. We're going to have special Drew. guest Drew Return back to the too. Drew. Return to the Drew. Um, man. He's here. Uh, we talked about. He is. Yeah, I know. He'll, we'll, we'll borrow him occasionally. You know, when, you, yeah. when you're not using him for whatever it is you do with him. You, you know, he, um, he brings his own humidity. <laughs> you should know that. <laughs> He's got his own climate. That's fun. That's fun. Uh, He's no. his own little ecosystem. A whole lot of like rare animals. Just, his like, own ecosystem. Him. So um, we want to yeah. do a thing called Get Good Gives Back where we do get a bunch of our streamer friends. And if you're involved, <clears throat> Nolan and you know, other people, we can to uh, do a couple of charity events sort of as yeah. part of the stream. I think that'd be a really nice way to, to sort of give and you know bring the community into a, a really great opportunity. Well, you know what? I, that, that's the great idea because you guys were super successful with that, with the, um, uh, you know, when we, we, uh, we, joined, we charity, joined forces yeah. for the yeah, Australian the bushfires, right? Yeah, it was amazing. <laughs> yeah. So, so like I was really proud of what we did and, and you guys enabled that so incredibly and made so much of that happen. So I think it's a good partnership. I think it's something we should do more of. I want to do more of it. So probably line up a couple um, this year, maybe more if we can, but we'll, um, yeah, so that's, that's coming. That's one of the things I'm, uh, Todd and I are really excited about. Along with eating, good work, Todd. Oh, um, oatmeal That is part of season <laughs> yeah. next level. I like it. Yeah, like in, mm-hmm. in level four, it's where everybody gets jacked, <laughs> right? Yeah. Like, oh, wait, wait, get good. <laughs> Get fit, bro. Talk to them about oh, get good, yeah. get fit. So Let's go. I had this oh, wait, dumb I might idea. need this. My, I need to. Okay, hold on. I'm, this I'm into this. Post COVID, post COVID, we. I had a terrible <laughs> idea, which I'm like, hey, it's let's amazing. see what happens. Okay, so get get good, gets fit. Um, yeah. I was, I was. So what I do every day is I jump on on like my elliptical trainer and play Hearthstone. I don't know if you've ever played this game, but it's a card game. And so I was like, I could get, I could make this into a workout where every time I draw this kind of card, everyone does 10 squats. Every time I draw this kind of card, I was like, I'm going to make a gamified workout where we play games and lead a workout. It's going to be awful and wonderful and you've got to be there and it's going to happen. And it's, yep. We also love the idea of like, it gives us an incentive to not get shot. So Call of Duty, Warzone, we're dropping in. Every time we get killed, we have to do 10 squats on camera or 10 push-ups. 
So after Along an with hour, everyone at home, so they yes. aren't either. Well, first of all, I applaud you not uh, you know, not avoiding leg day. That's that's exactly important. Right. And build the uh, trunks. Let's talk about that. Let's do some of yeah. that. Okay. <laughs> I need to build them up. So okay. leg day so in there. Tree trunks for legs. What are you talking about? Well, you don't like, need to see them around like COVID. There's sequoias in there. What? I don't know whose legs you've been looking at, but well, you're mine. off camera most of the time. I just imagine them. You just get to the crotch and then stop looking. <laughs> well, that's, that's the best that's part. Strange. I don't know yeah, why you I mean, stop there. I mean, yeah, yeah, just continue looking. But yeah, so that's that's one of our insane, crazy ideas, which could be oh, interesting. Wait. Get good, get fit. I'm oh, crazy. It's an amazing idea. You're an actual marketing genius. I'm so available. Yeah. I like that. Good, good. I like right. that, man. I, be... And I'm pretty sure I can do ten push-ups. Well, but well, how many times do you out. expect us to get shot? Let's find out how many 10 push-ups exactly, you do. Exactly, bro. Oh, <laughs> then I gotta, get a, I gotta become a better gamer or I'm... Um, <laughs> yeah. This is the incentive, Everybody's right? gonna be hoping they get good real fast. It'll be like <laughs> April 3rd and I'll be like, Hi, welcome to Retro Replay. He's huge. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. he's a terrible gamer. <laughs> now all of a sudden he start name. talking like this. You must work on your thumb. <laughs> dexterity. The French Arnie. Yeah. Uh, and then I push the controller, I push all the buttons. The whole yeah. health thing, I crush it. Um, I'm all that's chest. why get good, get fit. It's like unless you're getting good, then you're getting fit. So you're yeah, there's something. no downside. It's all win. It's all win. exactly. <laughs> so, and last hey, but not least, what what now? We're doing community <laughs> gaming sessions, which we've finally figured out. So we're going to have our viewers come in and be on a, like a rotation and come through and join us in some gaming. Yeah. I'm going to call it get also good four together. Guys. Get good together That's as a family. Awesome. Yeah, again, I not like necessarily this. like that, but um, not necessarily like the way Todd demonstrated. But it, not what like a mean? snake eating another snake. But um, but yes, getting good <laughs> together. It's going to be nice. Uh, again, we've got such a great community. You guys have such an incredible community that we get to be part of, and we want to to bring them in and make them more part of our family. That's perfect. <laughs> well, no, yeah, I, I think it's all positive. Looks great. Can't wait. Let's get good, guys. <laughs> That sounds great, right? Yeah. Who would have thunk a couple guys from uh, Australia would have uh, come up with something like that? You yeah. know, you just think it's like wallabies and like, you know, rugby. <laughs> yeah. Australia Most hates us. I know. Well, they do. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, but it's great. But you know what? I, this is what I really like uh, to see. There's a trend here um, with uh, uh, that, that our channel is kind of expanding out uh, mm -hmm. with, with Todd and Liam and... Um, also with our replayer podcast. Yeah. Well, yeah. And Pagan and Dan Pagan and Dan, are, yeah. are replayers, um, fans of the show. They, on their own, decided to create this podcast that is a way for retro replayers to, to talk about the show, uh, have other replayers on, interview them, get mm -hmm. to know them. Um, it's also just a general a good good time because they you know they they talk about gaming they talk about culture pop culture uh, go off on tangents just like we do but we we're bringing that more into the fold for retro replay we'll be promoting that there sh and and that show um, that comes out every Wednesday yeah I'm excited about that because you know the thing is you guys help give us a voice you know and let us to do this and now you know. We want to hear yours, you know, so that comes back mm -hmm. through this, you know, this is like the first iteration of that kind of thing where we're, we're super excited to have them on there and proud to have them doing it. So, and there's, there's should be, you know, along with our <clears throat> member, um, you know, live chats and things like that, you know, the idea to, uh, you know, bring the community and get you guys more involved uh, on your own time doing things. It's so always all kinds of interesting things and interesting ways we are trying to include you guys uh, into uh, being uh, a bigger, bigger part of what we're trying to create here Yeah. Uh, on the macro level. Yeah. You'll always have me on the micro doing stupid shit, but macro, let's, let's, let's dream bigger. Cause I, this is all I got. <laughs> hey everybody. It is time for our uh, very first Level four episode, <laughs> photos on the bar. As you look behind me, you will see our dearest friend, Rubber Tex Raccoon, uh, just lounging in what looks like um, a beanbag of their own tail. Uh, oh, Ashcan, A, looking uh, startled by the elderly people behind him. And Christine, <laughs> the dear Christine, 
Uh, thank you for being our photos on the bar this week. Now, uh, as always, the member shout outs. Uh, at the get good level, Stan, Sam Stadnick, uh, Steph S, and Congo Tim, Kevin C. Uh, Drew Soup level, uh, Snape Fantasy, that's the lovely Charlotte M. Mad Mark's Madhouse, Mark R. And at the altered beast level, Hockey Town 787, Andrew L. My man, uh, Chaos Rising 90, Nathaniel M, and Amy K. Thank you so much. Um, this is your very first level four shout out. <laughs> four times. That's eight. That's My the, bad. The, wow. Dang it. Messed that up. I love that we still do this in level four. I love the photos on the bar. I love seeing the member, like our replayers, like on the bar and the shout outs. Um, and I just love the support, right? We wouldn't be here without the without the support that's of, right. of the people, and that's why we give them a shout out. That's why we give them love on the show, uh, because uh, you know every month they decide to hey, we want to support the show, right? Um, and we love that. Yeah, and, and and hey, if you want your photo on the bar, you want to uh, get a shout out uh, at any of those tiers, just hit subscribe and uh, you know check it out. Uh, whatever you uh, like, whatever fits you, uh, jump on in. Water's fine. Yeah. We're Retro Replay, and we want your support. We appreciate your support. Thank you so much. And for all the replayers uh, out there, you know, welcome in anybody who's new. Uh, let them know how, you know, this community is what we're all about. And, uh, you know, we support you, you support us, and you support each other. Uh, and that's, uh, that's like something that we, uh, we never realized that, w that would happen, but yeah. it's, it's, been, so uh, cool. it's been fantastic. So, so cool. Thank you again for joining us. Um, welcome once again to Level 4. This is Retro Replay, and uh, up, up, and away from here. We'll see you next time. get to work on these things uh, so we can bring the, all this this creamy goodness Cre to creamy? the replayers is it don't question me don't question chunky me. yours is chunky <laughs> <laughs> creamy <laughs> I don't well that's soup can be creamy or smooth or chunky <laughs> it's true it just depends on what you like. I like my soup with a fork where well, you're an idiot that's a stew. That's a stew. Yeah, that's a stew. And you don't ever use a spoon. You just sop that up with a biscuit or some <laughs> yeah. crusty bread. Yeah, loaf. That just made me hungry. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs>